So let's look at one more area. And then I'll end it for today because I will just be spending some time basically killing monsters until I'm ready to buy a bunch of junk. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll do some, some damage, but we can take a look around because I'm pretty comfortable with this game to where I can uh, I can deal with some monsters that are above my level, my pay grade. Like those guys over there. Hello, Mr. Bug, who's gonna be quite dangerous, actually. Yes, yes, that's more like it. So it's always fun when a in a series uh, recycles monsters, and uh, this game has a big uh, big history with putting large insects in the game. But in the previous games, it's been termites. So I haven't seen termites in this game. I've gotten pretty far in, but it's got these things, whatever these are, these goofy danger bugs. Ooh, 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 let's not get attacked. Uh, but the man traps, aka those Venus flytrap things, have been in the series since the beginning. So it just warms my cold dead heart to have gold. Listen to that music, it's just so weird. Everything about this game is like strangely alien. That's a spring of healing, by the way. Nope, that's not a tablet. That's literally just a piece of stone. Hey, you. Let me hit you, actually. Ugh. When they're attacking, anyway. But they're not very cute when they're attacking. They're, they're terrible, and they get worse. Much worse. Much, much worse. Alright, so up here we have... Everyone's favorite area. Beware poison. That couldn't possibly mean something terrible. We're not going to go in there yet because that's that's quite an ordeal. That's a, that's a whole level. We'll do that next episode or something. And this is just a say, but ah, uh, yep, there is an herb down here. Great, because it's a game of patience, which um, I'm not I'm not sure a lot of people play games to be patient. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot of people want to just kind of turn on a game and start punching things in the head. And while you do get to punch things in the head, uh, it kind of is very beneficial to you to do so in a very uh, cautious manner. And I, sh I just wonder if that kind of makes the game seem not fun to a lot of people. Like they think that it should be more action driven. And it does get to a point where it can be action driven, but even when there's an opportunity for action, I usually tend to stick to this routine of just kind of cheesing it and uh, sticking to the monster's limits because it is so brutal. It will rip your face off gleefully, this game. <laughs> Anything, man. Ah, what's up there? A dead man? Yes, there is a dead man here, and he has given to us his cuirass. His cuirass. Alright, let's put that on real quick. There we are. We are starting to be matchy-matchy. I don't know if matching actually matters in this game, but it feels like it does. <laughs> For what that's worth. Hello? Okay, nobody else coming out of there. And let's see now. Sometimes there'll be things setting on shelves. I've gotten farther in the game, so I know to look more. Ooh, money. Money, money, money. We'll take that. That is a good find. Open. Ah, yes. A small weapon. And get to look inside the ancient city real quick. Put our new weapon on. That's a little better. So let's see status. So this does 50 in hit. This does 40, 30, 10. So that's always better, even though it does less in hit, uh, because it spreads the damage across. So hit is best for skeletons for sure. 
but I'm it's such low damage we're talking about here. I'm gonna go with the generic sword for now. And let's look inside the ancient city, shall we? Is there a nice door with the dragon or something on it, I think? I've yet to figure out the lore in this game, but it's just so beautiful, man. Look at this place. Man, this game is so just cool. I feel like I should be whispering because just out of respect for the beauty of this place. To fulfill the promise, the forest folk and the earth folk shall unite in harmony, becoming one. Hmm. What does that mean? Alright, let's go upstairs and say hello to an NPC who we will see very often. It's a very nice man. Hello? Are you up here? There he is. Hey, dude. Apparently all the characters have names, but they never actually tell you the name in the game. It's, you just have to kind of get the <laughs> the book, the guide to know this. You want to go to the ancient city, eh? Well, you're out of luck. A monster's nest is blocking, blocking the passage ahead of us. If only I could use magic like forest folk, then I would burn it away. Did you know? The forest folk were skilled at imbuing tools that stored the power of nature. People say the spring outside once fill was filled with healing water. Perhaps this water was used in the imbuing process. I have a special vial. I heard it was used to hold healing water. Water. If you want it, we can work out a deal. The rock of life that was once excavated is hard to find nowadays. If you want the vial, I'll exchange it for a rock of life. Have you chained the rock yet? No, I'm sorry. It's just a dragon crystal there. That's one of those things you have to shoot. So if that was an important thing in the previous game. Oh, here's a slime. Little known fact, if you step on these when you're poisoned, you'll be unpoisoned. I aim to check that out. Because I learned that in Kingsfield 3. Some nice gentleman told me that. All these tips that you get in 3, they're just nowhere, nowheresville in <laughs> in, t in uh, 4. So you're just kind of on your own in a cold and dark world. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, you know what? There is one more area we can go to. Oh no, wait, I just went up here. Huh, sorry, dude. Wait, let me see. I'm on what side? which side of the room? This one? Was there anything on this side of the room? I don't remember. Or does it just kind of loop back on itself? I forget. Ugh. Ouch. Something just hit me. What the heck was that? What just hit me, dude? I don't think I've ever taken damage in that spot before. Oh! Ah, it's just a slime. It just respawned and I didn't even notice. That's good to know. I didn't realize that was a respawn point. Ah, so you can see how quickly my uh, thing is recovering. Which is good. Alright, so we have one more lady to talk to before we have to go into the mine and actually start playing the game. <laughs> Alright, so let's exit the beautiful city. Oh, we might as well look so you can see what he's talking about. And I think there's a spider we can fight just for funsies, too. Bleh, another one of you. These things. These things have been in the game since the beginning, too. All colors. Red and green. How dare you bite my face. How dare you, sir. Anything in here? Yeah. A mushroom, I will accept. And anything in here? Mm, better boots. Okay, I went to a lot of trouble to get the boots that I'm wearing, but sure. 
to let's see if they're better. They may not be better. Shield, head, chest, hands, feeties. Okay, and status. They're negotiably better. I mean, they're about the same, actually. The difference is uh, that rock, paper, scissors status effect thing. Whoa, hello, you're right there. I was not expecting you to be right there for some reason. Ay, ay, ay. Gotta be careful. You can nibble my face. Don't nibble my face, I need it. I'm still using it. Just heal real quick. Not mess around with the spooters. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. No problem. And there's another one in here? Is there another one in here? He's not on the ceiling, is he? No. All good. We are safe. Alright, so... Yeah, see, so we can't get through. It won't open! Because there's spider webs in the way. But I have killed the monster, at least! Alright. Well. Or so my naive self thinks at this point, but I I actually know better because I am a well-seasoned adventurer of the ancient city, and someday I will get to an end, the end, a end, any end. Please, just let me finish. <laughs> Might as well kill these guys again. See how fast these things uh, get deaded now. Ow! 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 <laughs> Being nibbled, man. I don't think this is killing him any faster. Hey, he dropped a flower. I mean an herb. <laughs> Not a flower at all. Alright, so I don't care if there's other bugs. We're gonna go and visit the next character we need to see. Who has a lot of herbs for me, which is very nice of them. Alright, up here. Yes, please, I'll take that. Thank you. Antidotes. I think we can fight a monster too, which I don't really want to, but I will. I'll do it for you if you ask me to. You hear the excitement in my voice? It's actually stress. That's what a stress sounds like. Just thinking about this monster. There's nothing to do here. It's so boring. Super dog doesn't want to play with me. My mother is sick. I came here to take care of her. We had a lot rock of life. I found a pretty rock in a house over there, but it wasn't the right one. My father told me that the rock of life can cure any type of disease. I hope that he comes back soon. I'm so bored. I wonder if he was one of the soldiers that marched in. Hi, very emaciated looking dog. Now he has nothing to say to me, despite my fluent dog speak. In the other games, if you inspected gravestones, sometimes you'd find stuff. But I don't think it works like that here. Oh, you know what it does, actually? I think there is something hidden in a gravestone that may be really angry later in the game. <laughs> so we'll double check here make sure nothing's hidden. But that was a regular gimmick you had to do in uh, three at least. There was a whole area of just greys, which was fun. <laughs> okay, so we have to come back with uh, a um, mace ASAP. And there's some things to clear out here, so let's do that real quick. Hello. Ooh, I can't believe I actually attacked him. Note how these ones move faster. A lot faster. They also do a lot more damage. So, beware. These guys come in all flavors. And they will be a menace forever. But this nest, I happen to know, has some good stuff in it. Hey, where'd everybody go? Come over here. Everybody come back. Come say hello to me. Hello? How are you? Oh my gosh, that's so many hits! Alright, where's the other couple of bugs? Thought I saw another one. Let's go here. 
here. I don't like that I don't see him. I knew there was another bug. Hmm. Alright, maybe there wasn't another bug, but I'm gonna start grabbing some of this stuff here. Because this will be very useful in the next area I'm going into. Begrudgingly, no, please. Very begrudgingly that I'm going into the mines. AKA beware poison. <laughs> I need as many of these as I can as I can grab, really. Okay, that's good. Let's get out of here. Enough of those things. I'll just give you a little hint of how horrible things are gonna be. But don't worry, it gets worse. It gets much worse. Are you ready? I'm not ready. Oh, I can't go in. Thank freaking goodness. Thank goodness. I didn't want to go in anyway. Whew. Okay, that's all I can do for now. I will train and I will go get myself a mace and then we'll get in here and we'll collect all these barrels too. There's a fun creature in here. Fun. Very fun. One that was all over number three, but they made it worse and rare in this one. It was really bad in number three. It's a lot worse now. This game, this is like my favorite game ever, but it just gives me so much just tension. Just, brrr. it's a very spooky game. All right, so I'm going to train a little bit and then I'll be back with items and then we will go into the pit of poison, death, and suffering. <laughs> and we'll wrap that level up in the next episode. Okay, so yeah, like and subscribe and have a great week. Bye!